welcome you back in geological knowledge so in the series of the geology combined geo scientist exam means point of view we are dealing with some very basic and very important topics related to the syllabus of geo scientist exam means and in the sequence or the continuation of that series today we will discuss another very important topic for the exam point of view and that is the hazel storm diagram related to the sedimentology okay and in this diagram we will discuss about the basic definitions or their basic fundamentals and this can be very useful for the mains point of view because that's a very that's part of your syllabus and this diagram deals with the or this you can call it hazel storm diagram or as a curve also and as a graph also you can see why i am saying that when you we will discuss in detail you will look that or you will find that sometimes it can be find found as a graph or sometimes it can be found as a curve or generally so it's in the form of uh, uh, diagram so that's why it can also be termed as hazel storm diagram so if the question is there hazel storm diagram hazel storm curve or the hazel storm graph so all the three things are the same so basic is that this diagram deals with the grain size versus velocity diagram okay and this diagram or this graph that shows the relationship between the size of the sediment and the velocity which is required to erode or the lift in lift it or the transport it or the deposition okay so that is the diagram that deals with the relationship between the size of the sediments and between the velocity required for the erosion transportation and the deposition of the sediments okay and the competence is the maximum size of the load that a river can carry we all know that is competence of a river that is the maximum size of the load that a river can carry and this is the largely determined by the velocity okay so let's start our discussion of the hazel storm diagram so firstly we will understand the basics that from where this name hazel storm diagram has come or um, has been taken the hazel storm curve that is named after the philip hazel storm that is a graph used by the hydrogeologist and the geologist also in order to determine whether a river will erode transport or deposit the sediments okay so on the basis of this diagram or this curve we can define whether a river will erode deposit or the transport the sediments okay and the graph takes sediment particle size as well as the velocity water velocity in account so we have already discussed thus that this is the diagram this is the graph versus graph between size versus velocity and the upper curve as we will see in the next slide the upper curve that shows the critical erosion velocity in centimeter per second as a function of particle size in millimeter size while the lower curve that shows the deposition velocity as a function of particle size okay and the simplest plot that shows an experimentally derived threshold graph for the initiation of grain movement is known as the hazel storm diagram so not only this is important for the mains point of view but for the objective point of view this is also important that the diagram that shows the threshold graph for the initiation of grain movement is known as so this is statement can be given here given in the examples and you be you will be given four options and from the four options there will be hazel storm di diagram or the hazel storm graph in the option and from there you can easily identify that which is the right option and what happens that in the hazel storm diagram the velocity at which the grain movement begins as 
flow velocity increases above the bed is plotted against the mean grain size or the grain diameter and this diagram shows the critical velocity for the movement of quartz grains of a plain bed at a water depth of 1 meter okay so water depth of quartz grain on a plain bed that is 1 meter so this is the curve or the this is the diagram graph you can see so this is the hazel storm chart which is describing the transport deposition as well as the erosion of the streaming water okay so as you can see in the diagram sorry one second in the diagram you can see this part is the transport part sorry uh, in this region the transportation will occur and i have already told that is the this is the diagram between the grain size grain size is given in millimeter and the flow speed that is given in centimeter per second okay so you can see that is the transport part that is the where the transportation will take place or the deposition will take place where the grain size will increase as you can see in the diagram okay so on the as we, we move this way the grain size is successively increasing and the erosion will take place in this area okay so in this place you can see the erosion uh, the erosion where it will take place take place there the grain size or the grain size that is in millimeter that will be finer in size as you can see here okay and the flow speed will be higher okay so as you can see in the diagram here the flow speed will be higher okay so that is the diagram that relates with the grain size and the flow speed okay and the successive portion of the erosion transportation or the deposition okay and this one is another diagram the hazel storm diagram showing the critical current velocity required to move quartz grains on a plain bed at a water depth of 1 meter as you can see we have discussed here in the here okay the diagram shows the critical velocity for a movement of quartz grains on a plain bed at a water depth of 1 meter okay so the same is given here in the diagram so this is the same diagram where you can see the sorry here you can see this is the erosion part okay and uh, you can see the size of the sediments that is also given here this is the view know that is the boulder size or the gravel and boulder side that will come in this range and the fine sand or the sand or fine sand that will come in this range and clay as well as the silty part that will come into the left portion okay depending upon the grain size variation this diagram is proposed as i have already told and on this vertical axis you can see the velocity in feet per second okay so the centimeter per second or feet per second so this unit of this velocity that can vary from graph to graph okay but you can see the velocity is quite high in this consolidated clay and the silty part okay as you can see in the diagram that is the velocity is quite high in centimeter per second in this area okay and the consolidated clay and silt that is also being shown in the diagram and one differentiation is there on this left hand side this velocity gradient or the velocity this is shown in centimeter per second and on this right hand side diagram or the vertical line the velocity is shown in the feet per second okay so both the units they have been shown in the diagram as we have discussed okay and this one the same one diagram as we have discussed this one so this is the same diagram for the hazel storm diagram here you can also see the clay sorry one second you can see the 
names given here this is clay mineral silty mineral sand gravel pebbles or the cobbles or the larger one largest one that is boulder in size okay the so size is given on this direction or in this axis and the velocity is given on this vertical axis okay so this velocity is again centimeter per second okay and we have already talked that is the this will be the portion of transport transportation and this will be the portion of particle deposition and this will be the portion of particle erosion okay so the successive or the respective velocity or the respective river velocity and the grain size okay so that will define the particle size as well as the velocity for this diagram okay and you can see the mean critical erosion velocity that curve is also been shown mean fall or the setting velocity curve this has also been shown in the diagram as you can see okay and the curve separates the graph into two fields as you can see here in this diagram you can see the curve is separating this diagram into two fields okay so what are those fields points above the graph indicates the conditions under which grains are in motion and points below indicates no motion one second this diagram okay here you can see so points which are above the graph they indicates the conditions under which the gr grain are in the motion and points below it that indicates no motion is there and you have to note from this figure that critical entrainment velocity for grains larger than about 5 mm increase gradually with the increasing mean gradient size mean grain size whereas the entrainment velocity for the consolidated clay and silty grains is smaller than 0.05 mm increases with the decrease in the grain size okay as you can see in this diagram this one okay so you can see in this diagram this one i was talking about this diagram that is the entrainment velocity means the velocity that starts the journey of a particular sediment that is known as the entrainment velocity or the initial velocity required for a sediment to create in motion that velocity is the entrainment velocity and the critical entrainment velocity for the grains larger than about 0.5 mm they increase gradually with the increasing mean grain size okay and the whereas the entrainment velocity for consolidated clay and the silty grains is smaller than 0.05 mm increases with the decreasing grain size okay we have already discussed in the diagram here okay this one i was talking about this one area one second this one the consolidated clay and the silty mineral and consolidated clay and the silt mineral okay so that one that was given that was written in the text okay and this seemingly anomalous behavior at a smaller grain size is apparently mainly due to the increasing cohesive of the finer grain finer size particles making them more difficult to erode than larger non cohesive particles okay what is given that is this seemingly very anomalous behavior at smaller grain sizes that is apparently mainly to increasing cohes due to the uh, apparently due mainly to increasing cohesive cohesion of the finer size particles making them more difficult to erode than larger and the non cohesive particles okay the smaller grains the smaller grains they increase the cohesion of the finer particles so that's why they become more difficult to erode so erosion process that diminished in the 
स्मॉलर ग्रीन साइजेस एज कंपेयर टू द लार्जर और द नॉन कोहेसिव पार्टिकल्स ओके सो दिस वॉज अवर डिस्कशन वेरी शॉर्ट डिस्कशन अबाउट द हेजल स्टॉम डायग्राम एंड आई थिंक इफ क्वेश्चन इज आस्क इन द एग्जामिनेशन मीन्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन द मीन्स एग्जामिनेशन वेदर इन द शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन और द कंपल्सरी क्वेश्चन और इन द शॉर्ट और द शॉर्ट नोट टाइप दैट विल बी सफिशियंट फॉर यू टू राइट यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम एनी वन दिस डायग्राम आई थिंक दिस डायग्राम विल बी सफिशियंट ओके एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट डाउन द कैप्शन ऑफ द डायग्राम एंड यू हैव टू राइट ओनली द डेफिनेशन सॉरी डेफिनेशन एंड द वेलासिटी पार्ट द अपर कर्व एंड द लोअर कर्व दैट विल बी सफिशियंट आई थिंक इफ द एग्जाम्स इन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन ओके थैंक यू